So we should be very careful to the, as to the amount of sugar that we add to these drinks. Mm. In as much as they are healthy, mm. if the ingredients are not well uh, balanced, if they go off guard mm. with regards to the quantities, then we have an issue. Esther Obeng Mengsa, who is not a stranger here, of Opulent Dietitian, and she's a co-founder of Zen Diet Consult. And today we are going to be talking about Ghanaian porridges. Yes. Drinks Hi. and porridge. Hi. How You're are welcome you? to the I'm show. Good. <laughs> good to see you again. Yes. Uh, local, uh, locally produced foods mm. in Ghana, mm. and I'm glad that you are treating the drinks and produce mm -hmm. lastly because mm -hmm. most of what we spoke about in previous segments uh, will make sense in this particular segment. So, the drinks basically uh, we have varieties of them. The lo the local ones uh, we have Asana, we have Lamujin, mm. we have um, Sobolo, Sobolo, we have zoom, is it zoom Zoom, we have um, uh, Zoom Com. Okay, this is come rather. Oh, okay, okay. The one, the one yeah. made, made that out was actually on millet. display yesterday. Oh, okay. yeah. The, I missed it. Your village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, it's, exactly. It's really and nice. there's this one that um, had an issue recently um, the millet and the milk one. The most millet popular one that is everywhere. Um, um, um. I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, I think when, when yes, the, the, the yes, word comes yes. out, we will talk about it. It's creamy, right? Yes. Exactly, very, very <laughs> creamy. Yeah, so this, this. Fura. No, it fura? Fura. It's, not, it's not fura. It's the one in the Bokina. bottle. Bokina. Bokina. Yes. Bokina. Yes. How can, yes. how can yes. this escape us? Yeah. Um, yeah, so these locally produced uh, drinks, uh, quite uh, funny enough, they are very nutritional. Um, they have nutritional values. And most of them are fermented. Talking about Lamogen is made of fermented rice. Talking about mm -hmm. Asana, made of fermented maize. Uh, so most of, uh, aside, Sobolo is made of hibiscus leaves. And so, talking about the fermentation, um, majority will talk, will talk about that maybe the fermentation is not healthy, but it's very healthy. This fermentation process helps to promote the gear, yeah, we call them micro, uh, micro or probiotics or prebiotics. Mm. And we get these probiotics from this fermentation process. Yeah. Uh, you realize that most people would recommend for us to go in for yogurt, cheese. Yes, yeah. These are also uh, fermented milk or fermented uh, uh, meat or other products that are being used to uh, come out from this product. But locally, not everyone can get access to this yogurt, um, this cheese. Especially talking about the, uh, the non sweetened yogurt, these are the ones that are rich in the probiotics that can okay. be very beneficial to uh, the gut. But these local drinks go through this fermentation process. And so they equally have this health benefit to promote our prebiotics, which are the life microbes in our large intestine. Mm -hmm. That helps with digestion, that helps um, with um, gut. Because we need these microbes in the, for our health. And so with these local ferm uh, ferm fermented drinks, I think that we get that benefit from it. So there's no need for us to go in for the carbonated drinks, mm. uh, which has these sodas that mm. adds up, up to our uh, uh, disease conditions, which are the uh, cardiovascular conditions. Yeah. And so we would like to promote these local drinks. Uh, we have varieties. And from previous um, segments, we spoke about the, the spices, spices, we spoke about the grains. Yeah. And most of these originated from the northern part of the country. Mm. Likewise, some of these drinks also originate from there. Some originate from the Volta region, some mm. originate from the Ashanti region. Yeah. So you, couldn't, you wouldn't say that these local drinks are just in one part of the country yeah. where you couldn't it's get everywhere. access. It's everywhere. And one thing I like about these drinks is that now they are being um, fortified with protein base. So if you go for Asana, we add milk to it. Mm. And milk is a, is, 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 is a protein base, source. Yeah. If you go for this Lamogin, some add apple, some add milk to it. And these are all um, uh, ways of fortifying, ways of fortifying the, these drinks yeah. to equally get the, nut sorry, the nutrient that we need for growth and development. So our locally produced drinks mm. are highly nutritional and so we would recommend that we go in for those drinks. Okay. So that's one thing that we would we'll look at uh, in as much as these drinks are health, uh, health, uh, have the health and nutritional values, we would have to consider their safety Mm -hmm. Consider this as you may mention the sugar. Um, the quantity is very, very important. Um, bring, bringing us to Sobolo, mm -hmm. non, majority don't add sugar, so they add pineapple, which is mm -hmm. a source of yeah. fruit. Mm -hmm. Some also add apple, some add other spices, ginger, and all of okay. that to make it more tasty. So we should be very careful to the, as to the amount of sugar that we add to these drinks, mm -hmm. in as much as they are healthy. Mm -hmm. If the ingredients are not well uh, balanced, if they go off guard mm -hmm. with regards to the quantities, 
then you have an issue. And also food safety come in. The water that I used in this uh, production of these drinks, if they're not good water, they're not portable, if they're not clean, mm -hmm. and they also have other microorganisms that may equally affect us, yeah. then you have an issue. And also storage is also one thing. I think the issue that came with um, um, the Burkina. Burkina. The Burkina was about the storage mm -hmm. where they weren't stored very well. So that's when uh, there was contamination. It doesn't mean that the Burkina itself is bad, but if the processing is, doesn't go well, if the storage doesn't go well, then we have an issue as mm -hmm. regards to these um, local things. So in as much as they are healthy, we need to take all of this into consideration and this so that we can enjoy the drinks as mm -hmm. well. DA is doing quite a good job uh, to regards to regulating um, I think they are trying to make sure that every vendor mm. register their business so mm. that some of these things can be regulated. Um, so with, with, with the sugar, um, yes, we would opt for the plant uh, fruit base or the natural sweetness to sweeten these beverages, but not, not most of the vendors, we are trying to educate them as to because of the price, most of the food they claim is expensive with regards to the sugar. However, sugar can also be used, but the quantity is very, very important. Mm. When we look at the quantities, it's used in minimal quantity. We don't have an issue because regularly, regularly our porridge, we use table sugar, which if they are used with regards to their desired quantity, we yeah. don't have an issue. Okay. It is when they are using excess, that is yeah. where we have a okay. problem. And so with the vendors, let's look at um, not just with the profit gain margin, but we just look at the uh, custom, the consumer base also mm. aspect with their health mm. and also consider all of them. Um, so with the porridge, we have corn porridge, we have Tom Brown, which is a uh, mix of the grains that we spoke yeah. about uh, previously. We also have Oblayo, made from corn. We have but at Tom Brown, you've actually roasted, right? Exactly. You've roasted. Yeah. Uh, which which what, what part will we be roasting? We'll be roasting mo the mo corn? Almost most of the grains oh. we use both uh, legumes and grains. Okay. So some use rice, some use maize. Mm. It's a combination of these. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Some use soya beans is also added. We, okay. Depending on the individual preference and so some would also use just two just mm. uh, beans and then um, granite Gano or yeah. even granite and then maize and then they are good to go or rice mm. and oats they are good to go so it depends on the individual mm. ingredients he or she would want to mm. use we are fine mm. with the tom brown okay um, yeah. tia or even clothes are added so ba basically most of um the locally produced um uh, porridges now, these natural spices are added to mm. it mm. to add to yeah. it uh, to yeah. increase its nutritional value as an anti-inflammatory properties mm. and anti uh, microbial properties where it helps to boost the immune system however the sugar content that are added to this needs to be uh, controlled or regulated the uh, the milk or the protein source because some would open a whole tin of milk adding mm. to this porridge which we don't encourage you need to measure it a tablespoon yeah. or two tablespoons is yeah. quite okay so tom brown obrio a quick baby yeah. um corn porridge yeah. Yeah. Aouza 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 cocoa. cocoa which if more of that because of um the process the fiber content is taken out so let's fortify with peanuts mm. which would to help give to, it a bit more fiber yeah the fiber okay. content or even with the kose mm. aside it the process ah, of the frying okay. because it's beans it's yeah. a source of uh, protein that yeah. we can add but you just look at the fine process where we shouldn't just use the oil over and over like aside that yeah. it makes it balanced and makes makes us get all the nutrients that we need so let's explore the local porridges and then let's enjoy them enjoy. Yeah. fantastic <laughs> thank you thank you very much uh, how do people get in touch with you if they want to find all out right more? so you can get in touch with me on all social media handles okay. uh, on instagram opulent dietitian um, youtube facebook opulent dietitian or zendietconsult.com yeah. All right. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much.